In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. A happy future, right? There we go. So what's the difference now again? He got like Vali's wings, I think. He's got Vali's wings now. Switch Princess's boob flash. Okay. All right. We got even a name technique for the titty flash now. So it's like more red than usual. I guess it's a little bit more pinkish red, right? It's a deep crimson. Oh, curse? Oh, from the uh, Loki shit too? You know, we've never promoted to king yet. Okay, we got the queen promotion. Cardinal Crimson promotion. Hey! I don't think anybody asked for this, right? Who, what, what, what the fuck is this introduction? But it's nice that he's actually shaking in front of her face and saying Rias. <laughs> but he hasn't sucked on the titties yet. That's what I'm waiting for. Alright. Solid impact booster. What? I think that's just like the, the flight there, the movement. Okay, it's just an all out brawl. It's pretty manly. Come on, it's not childish. Okay, we need some time. We need some time. Hold up, he's too fast. Drags and help us out. Do what? Okay, that broke his armor. Seemingly actually taking damage too. Oh shit, that's a hole in the fucking chest. This isn't even fair, cause think about it. Like, Issei's fucking sacred gear is like boost. So it keeps multiplying, exponentially multiplying, right? After over and over again. And then he had all bunch of bullshit different powers that we've gotten in the past, right? Think about it. We've gotten a fucking balance break. You know, we got in the fucking, uh, we got divide. We got fucking, we can promote to different pieces. We got juggernaut drive and all this different shit. He's getting so many different things, but this isn't like Issei's power, you know? This is just like all his like accessories and then you got this man who got to the stage by just doing fucking push-ups and sit-ups i don't know i feel like he should still win but he's just gonna win for the kids <laughs> fang blast booster wasn't this a little bit similar to like the bishop form cannons Ooh. That's sounded like a tiger. No, get up. Don't, don't just lose like this. Hold up. This is bullshit. No, Issei got too strong. No, the wings are gone. Oh, is, is the fight over? The fight's over? No, get those wings out again. Come on. Oh, no. Hey, who does? Is that mom? How's mom? Mom? Oh, shit. The fucking dying mom in the hospital has showed up out of fucking nowhere in the form of some kind of hallucination or is she actually here? I don't know. You say seems to recognize, but might get a main character moment from him. Cold outside org? Okay. That is such an idealistic world. I feel like he's the true main character. He's gonna lose though. Ooh. This is like phase three side org. Still just brute forcing it, but Cyborg just got the mom buff though. 
Vali and Kao Kao are strong, but there's a big difference when it comes to him. Implying the side org is even better? Is Issei capping? Okay. It's more of like the mindset. I don't know. He's, he, I don't think he's saying he's strong. He's just saying they fight in different ways. They, every, I all, every one of them has different ways to get motivated. Yes. Because he has to fucking do it with his fist. Because he has no bullshit powers like you. Is there gonna be a dot, a katai? No, I think it actually looks cool. Everyone else has bullshit power. Sidor only fights with his fucking fist. I think he's the coolest. See? Even Issei acknowledges it. Haramkin. Is he actually gonna stay a pawn though? I think he already is the strongest pawn. I'm pretty like what other maybe do we know any other pawns that can really compete with Issei? I don't think so. But I feel like at this rate, won't he have his own family? Isn't there other shit with the endgame stuff that kind of alludes to like other people joining Issei's family so that now the power dynamic isn't Gucho and Pawn, it's more like leader of a family and maybe even Rias joins? <laughs> Ooh. This is the Rias Grimory theme too playing. Wait. What could she do right now without the suit on though? Huh? He's already done, isn't he? This is like fucking dying standing up. He's already passed out, isn't he? No. What a manly man, dude. Bro lost standing up. Okay, okay, so the armor is actually crying. Yes. Because I feel like his dreams are more important than Issei's. At least he's not a dick about it. You see, actually acknowledges everything too. Everybody knows that Sidorg is pretty fucking cool. The battle ends with the hug of everything too. What did Rias do this fucking fight? This might be the last transition scene, bro. This could be it. And it's Rias's titties, of course. This is the last one, man. Oh, both are in the same healing area? Okay. This is kind of cool. He's already passed out. Oh. Brother-in-law to be, hello. He looks so weird without his shoulder pads. Okay. And? No, Zenobia? No. No, Asha, no. Okay, sure, sure. Just keep on Zenobia and Yisei only. No Gasper either. The hero. So this is like leading into like season 5 territory, I guess. Surely we're not gonna end the season awkwardly. There's, he's gotta sort it out, right? And make sure to say her first name. You already said it in front of the entire fucking crowd. We're like best friends now. Sidor was kind of like a big bro figure. Right? Friend, big bro kind of type? I don't know. I'd, be, I'd feel safe with him around. What the fuck is this? Oh. Oh, we had a cultural festival that I completely forgot about. An occult club ran by devils. Makes sense. Where's Gasper? What is Gasper wearing? We just got slapped around by a bunch of fucking NPCs. They love the Gasper though. They want them to bite you. 
Surprised he didn't wear a fucking maid outfit. I don't know. I thought they fucking whore Gasper out for the finale, but okay. She's just cool independent, man. Yeah. These are all corporate devils with sponsors. He just goes indie. Incomplete queen. But this is like season five content, right? More different forms, stronger modes. Sachi? Who is this? Friends? Oh, these two idiots. <laughs> these two fucking idiots. Oh, Akino. Koneko doing sage art stuff? Oh my goodness, Kiba. Where is the Gasper fucking mage service, dude? Scale and power are infinitely better. Uh oh. oh. We need a little alone time with Rias. Is this time? Are we gonna do the thing or what? Alright, here we go. Surely he won't fuck this up, right? There's no way he fucks this up. Don't say Bucho. Don't say Bucho. Don't say Bucho, please. I feel like he's gonna fuck this up somehow. Oh! That's all he had to do. That's all he had to do! Here we go. She's shocked. This is a woman that's been in her bed naked in her fucking room since episode 1 season 1. It took us 4 seasons, but now, finally... We didn't lose the virginity, no, no, no. But we did call her by her first name. There we go! Four seasons of build-up? What, what, what? Okay. I, th I thought she was gonna say no, this isn't the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> you dense motherfucker! She waited four seasons! I mean, that's kind of true, too. Why didn't she ever say anything? No, she made a lot of advances, right? It's not fair to pin it on her, but she could have literally said, Yo, just call me by my first name. Oh, when he said, I love Ria's Grimory when he transformed? No. Obviously, yeah. Wow. A little kissy kiss and no one's gonna interrupt the scene, right? <laughs> Fuck you, of course someone's gonna interrupt this fucking scene. It's high school DxD. Alright, everybody get in. Everybody get in. <laughs> Literally everybody! <laughs> Even Rainbow fucking made it too. After this is all settled and everyone's happy, light's gonna turn on, Azaza will literally turn around from the chair up there, and it's gonna be like, Sensei, you were there the entire time? You know that shit always fucking happens. <laughs> this is the only show where a guy confesses to a girl and the rest of the girl's like, fucking finally, finally, I can now get a better chance. Now, I don't have to hold back anymore. I can just focus on him having cheat. This is even better for Akino. This is so fun, but... Kiba Gaspar, you want to get in on it? Illis... I guess maybe it's because school campus or they're minors. I don't know. They're, they're both the same age. Rough, roughly the same age range. Yeah, you ruined it. Oh. What if this, like, happens, like, she starts going, Baka! Runs away, and there's no kiss, and all this shit didn't really matter, and we go to season 5 to delay the shit between Rias and Issei. No, are, are they gonna fuck this up? Come on. Seal it. Okay, okay, good. Don't, don't stall. Okay, they left. Good. Okay, this is good. This is good. They're still right outside the door, but it's fine. No one interrupts now? Yes, Nobody? Oh, Jesus Christ. The anticipation was ridiculous. But here we are. It's not our first kiss, but probably one of our most meaningful kisses. Now, was Azazel there the entire time? Azazel. It would have been funny if Azazel fucking turned around. That's it? No. There's got to be post credit scenes, right? There's got to be. There's got to be. Okay. Good, 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 good. Post credit scene? This is probably going to be season 5 stuff? They're going to tease? 
What are you gonna do now, Cytorg? I mean, he still has all his powers. I guess it's all about just the political influence, right? Because he still has all his powers, but like his popularity, everyone still loves him. It's just, how is he gonna achieve his dreams of like revolutionizing the underworld of, you know, skills and merits rather than birth? Oh, mom's awakened? Mom, wake up. Come on. Mom's back. How? What happened? Did you should give her a kiss too. What the fuck? And also, how was she at the fighting scene? You know, like where she was, you know, Sidor was passed up and mom showed up. I thought it was just like a symbolic thing. Maybe someone was hallucinating, but like, you say saw it. She, she was there. Is that explained? Does it matter? Aww. Hey, this is kind of happy ending. In her dreams. Was she there in her dreams? The fights? To that home, as in the home, home that they ran off to, right? Not, you know, Bile, so we're not going to dad, right? That's not gonna fucking visit us, right? Who? You say? How does Boob Lingwill somehow transfer Cider Org's mom's consciousness in the rating game? How does that work? Alright, Booby Lingwill. Don't worry about it. Booby Lingwill. He's a miraculous Boob Dragon now, not just a legendary. Season 5 content. Oh, wait. Wait! Sakura? Oh, someone that Asasa responds to? Who is this guy in the Hawaiian shirt? Sak Sakura? Based on the beads and the dot, some kind of monk, strong monk? Kao Kao's friend? Indra? Indra. <laughs> That's pretty saucy of you, little Azazel. Damn, he's talking a lot of shit. Suddenly, again, we're doing the power scaling. We're at the end of the season. We need new people, man. We got a new guy right here, Indra. He talks down to Azazel. <laughs> this is bullshit. It's the true nature of a god to spout ideals while planning who knows what in the darkness. This basically means it's a very comfortable and convenient excuse for these beings known as gods to say just bullshit things without actually planning. So that whenever things do happen, they'll be like, ah, oh, God, that's just God's plan. Don't worry about it. Okay, Ophis and Indra, same tier? The Tit Dragon? Oh, he likes it. A danger to the world. I don't know what this world is. Is it the underworld? And if it's the underworld, are we talking about the status quo? The way that it's currently structured? If Issei and Sidorok somehow team up and try to, you know, change the underworld for a different future, maybe that's a danger. And then Indra comes to fight us? Okay, but he's a fan of the Tit Dragon. Heaven. Okay. All right. Damn, that's a fucking long- Is he gonna walk all this? I mean, bro can fly. And is- Is that it? I think that's it, guys. And that is the end of High School DxD Season 4. Holy shit. It's been three fucking months. And honestly, I didn't think we would start this. And in fact, most of the people that voted for this, I'm sure this just did it for the memes. But some people are huge fans. And you guys believed in this show. And I did too. I thought in the beginning, it was just dumb titties. And it kind of is, right? Like the whole point of the show is just- dumb titties but at the same time the shonen elements in this show was more shonen than actual shonen i've seen some of the battle sequences some of the monologues the speeches all this hype elements of a shonen series it really carried on this show obviously there's a lot of etchy moments that you know wraps up every time there's some kind of crazy fight and we're trying to wrap it up what happens isei does some crazy power up and then it's some kind of degenerate etchy you know uh, solution but it's still funny it's actually really funny i think that people should give high school dxd a chance to watch without just dismissing it saying it's just a titty anime because it's much more than that and with the end of season four it looks like we're already kind of planning for season five right we got indra coming in we got cyborg's different plans you know we're a mid-level promoting now different things are gonna happen and i'm sure more girls are gonna join the harm but that's it from me who knows when season five is gonna show up but we'll get there when we get there now moving forward i think the plan is to now watch one of the new community series which is probably gonna be the mob food one you know ultimate game and reincarnate as a slime we'll probably try that out
But thank you for watching High School DXT with me. And until next time, take care.